Hello YouTube. This is Lachlan T 1984 from Melbourne, Australia. And this is something that I got from my brother for my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow actually, but I got a few early birthday presents. This is the fabric. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi speaker with Amazon Alexa support. Basically this is a loudspeaker that connects to your wireless network. And it can do various things such as play music from various services like Spotify, iHeartRadio, Tidal, and a few others. It can also play internet radio stations from Jing, and it has support for Amazon's Alexa voice service. Many of you will have seen videos about the Amazon Echo. The Amazon Echo is a product I'm very interested in. They're not available in Australia at this point, although I have been told by a friend of mine that they may become available here this year. This speaker supports the Amazon Alexa voice service. Amazon recently opened up the Alexa platform to third-party hardware developers, so now other companies can make Alexa-enabled speakers, and this is one of them. This is the box it came in. The box basically lists a lot of the features. It's made of quite a hard, durable cardboard, so the package is potentially reusable. And it lists a lot of the features the unit has. On the front of the unit here, we've got a control panel that has four buttons on it. You've got the microphone button at the very top there. That allows you to talk to Alexa. There's the volume up button, the play button, and the volume down button. On the bottom of the speaker is the power button. This panel on the front lifts up, and when you do lift it up, you get access to a few things. There's the micro USB port to recharge the battery, and then there are two buttons. The top button allows you to toggle between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi mode. It also allows you to set Wi-Fi up, and the bottom button controls the light ring on the bottom of the speaker. I'll turn the speaker on now. The sound comes out of the top here. This speaker is top firing. And you can see there's the fabric logo on the back. When I turn the speaker on, it will start up and connect to my network and then it should start playing BBC World Service from Tuning In Radio because that was the last thing I listened to. I can't really demonstrate the app to you very well because I'm recording this video on my iPhone. And so the app is only on my iPhone. I haven't installed it on my Android tablet yet. And probably won't at this point because I hardly use that tablet. But anyway, I will now turn the speaker on. Starting up. It plays this music as the software boots up. Hi, welcome back. And now it's ready. And in a moment it should... Because okay. of what's happening today in the region. And if the UN does not agree with that, will you take other action, unilateral action? Well, we said it uh, from the beginning that we are not happy with the agreement and we will do whatever is necessary to defend uh, Israel, uh, but we expect the international community not to ignore it, not to ignore the reality, but to take action before it will be too late. And that meeting between Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Trump, what will be on the agenda? Well, the, the issue of, uh, now, as I say, this speaker supports uh, Alexa, but... The and service isn't available here in Australia, so if I push the microphone the button... Shameful one -sided. Login unsuccessful. Please try setting up your Amazon account via your mobile app. And then, you know, we are looking forward to work with the new administration. We welcome the I just turned the volume down there. You'll hear it gives an announcement telling me that it can't connect to Alexa. I do have an Amazon account. 
I did try to log into the Amazon account with my username and password. It did recognize my account. It did log me in, but I couldn't really process through the setup. I couldn't really proceed through the setup process of getting Alexa set up. So there might be something I can do to make it work. I'm not sure. I need to do some research on how to get this to work with Amazon Alexa. So I can't really demonstrate that. To get the speaker set up, you need to download the Fabric app, and that's Fabric spelled F-A-B-R-I-Q. You will need to download that app to get the speaker connected to your network. This app also allows you to stream music from your mobile device, so smartphone or tablet, to the speaker via your Wi-Fi network. It can access, the app can access your music library on your mobile device and it allows you to play songs and you can play and pause music and skip between tracks etc etc it does all that sort of stuff also the speaker supports airplay apple's airplay standard now i don't recall reading on the amazon website or in the instruction booklet that came with the speaker about it supporting airplay but because it does that means that you can in theory send music to the speaker from Apple devices such as the iPhone or iPad or your computer. I did try sending music to the Oops. I did try sending music to the speaker from iTunes on my computer and it did work. And it won't look nice. Without wearing your shoes, it feels more comfy and it feels like your own house. And it doesn't, you don't always have to wear footwear and it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like you're, not, you're in a classroom. It feels really wide and it feels like your home. Without shoes, it makes you feel like you're much more at home instead of being restricted. I don't know why, but I just like to have my toes being able to... And you'll see that on the bottom of the speaker, the light ring lights up. About four years ago, we refurbished some classrooms in in our old school. We created a and it one changes learning. brightness depending on what you set the volume to. The battery in the speaker lasts about five hours or so. The manufacturer claims, and it takes maybe four hours to charge. Four or five hours to charge. The unit came with a micro USB cable that plugs into the socket there, of course, but it didn't actually come with an AC adapter, which is fair considering that it's a fairly cheap speaker and they sell them in different countries. This was purchased from Amazon. My brother purchased it for me. They're about $50 US. So I think that currently equates to about $65 Australian. And of course, there's also the cost of shipping involved. And I think the total cost of this speaker would come to about $85 Australian if you were to order one from Amazon. I'll quickly show you what the light button does. You press it and the light starts flashing different colours. There are about three different flashing modes. And it's interesting that Genesis, he said, was them wanting to have this um, nice environment around them, not want to spoil it. And uh, in India, I think, actually, that... I don't know how well the changes in colour aren't really coming up very well on the iPhone's camera. And now it's flashing very quickly. I think this flashing mode where it flashes really quickly is somewhat sound dependent. So I think if you were to stop listening to the sound that you're listening to, it will stop flashing. And now I've turned the sort of flash mode off. The white light ring indicates that it's on Wi-Fi. If I push the uh, wireless button, now it's in Bluetooth mode. Okay, so I just discovered that when I pressed the wireless button to put the speaker into Bluetooth mode, it actually stopped the video from recording because of course the speaker connected to my iPhone via Bluetooth. I, if you're an Apple Music user, as I am, and you want to play music through the speaker from Apple Music, your best bet is to use Blue, AirPlay or Bluetooth. 
If you add music from Apple Music to your local music library, I think you should be able to play that via the Fabric app, although I'm not sure. But just to be on the safe side, if you do want to use this with Apple Music and listen to Apple Music content on it, your best bet would be, I think, to use AirPlay or Bluetooth. I don't think I've missed any features on this speaker. I wish I could demonstrate Alexa, but as I say, the speaker does not... Uh, uh, the Alexa voice service isn't available here in Australia. I've only had this speaker to play with, really, for about a day and a half. So, I'm really even giving you some overall first impressions. The sound quality is actually pretty good for a cheap speaker like this. It's quite bassy. I think there's a passive bass radiator in here. Certainly when it's playing low frequency sounds, the speaker does tend to vibrate a lot. Did they know his name? No, everyone called him Roger, but no one was certain. And the only reason they called him Roger was because he once, and one time only, said the name Roger Curry. But the police didn't know, of course, if that was his real name. When we visited him last March, Roger, as everyone had started to call him, had been in a care home for four months. Staff had become very fond of him, as I learned when I spoke with the manager of the Creddon Hill home, Amanda Bow. What happens if he is allowed to leave here? It'll be devastating. We've adopted him. He's become... Now, one interesting feature, one other interesting feature I could tell you about this speaker system is that you can pair, you, you can have multiple fabric speakers connected to the one app and the one device. And the app allows you to play the same music on multiple speakers at once, much like the Logitech UE Boom uh, Bluetooth speakers. So you can use these speakers in the stereo mode, in which case if you have two of these speakers, one speaker will be the left channel and the other speaker will be the right channel. Or you can have them in a group mode, as I understand it, where all the speakers will basically play the same music. So you could stream music to multiple speakers around the house. I only have the one speaker, so I can't demonstrate this feature. I should also point out that the actual speaker driver in this unit, as I understand it, is monoral. It's not stereo. And it soon became clear that the 76-year-old had been deliberately abandoned in Britain. He was, by the way, a nurse married with two children. The LA authorities have now blamed his wife and his son. And though they deny this, we know that they both flew to England with Roger Curry and left him there. Then they went on holiday. So... If you want stereo sound from these speakers, you could buy a second speaker, and they're not terribly expensive. And I'm sure that it would work well. I don't have a second speaker, so I can't really demonstrate that or try it out anyway. One other thing I will point out, when using Bluetooth at least, and it seems we're also using the um, Fabric app, you can play and pause your music. You can start and stop music. But you can't use the buttons on the front of the speaker to skip between tracks. So you can't skip backwards and forwards through tracks, as I understand it. Which I personally think is a bit disappointing, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. Anyway, that's a brief overview of the speaker and what it can do. I do like this speaker. It's not terribly large, it's quite compact, and the sound quality is reasonable for a speaker of this price and of this caliber. Anyway, thank you for watching. Comments and questions are welcome. And have a nice day. And if you want to buy one of these speakers, I would recommend it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.